Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So I'm over here on X as I always am. But right above me here, if you guys don't know about X, they have trending topics. And Black Swan was trending. And I was like, ooh. You know, me being a old school conspiracy theorist, I was like, ooh, what's this? So I click on it and the very first one to pop up was General Mike Flynn. And some of you might say, well, he doesn't have a blue check mark. He's not verified. People, you can buy your damn blue check mark now. I can start up a X page for my coffee cup. Pay the monthly fee for having a blue check mark, and my coffee cup will be verified. That blue check mark is nothing but bullshit now. But this is what General Mike Flynn says. And as a person that's worked in the shipping industry, you know, as a truck driver and working at warehouses, you've got a lot of hoops to jump through. And that was just intercommerce shipping. Intercommerce meaning, you know, state to state. Not ever putting anything on a cargo ship. I could imagine how many hoops you'd have to jump through to put something on a cargo ship. Hell, Cletus McFarlane, another YouTuber, shipped a helicopter from some foreign country. It took nine months. I couldn't imagine all the hoops he had to jump through. But, like what it says here, black swans are norm normally come out of the world of finance. Why do they come out of finance? Because when you hit somebody in the pocketbook, in the wallet, it's more devastating. You know, broken bones can heal. You can rebuild after a fire. You can rebuild after a flood. But when your finances are hit, that's where it really hurts. The standard operating procedure for all U.S. ports, harbors, and bays that transit commerce and military activities are supposed to maintain an incredible level of discipline, rigor, and awareness for these very types of events to not occur ever. Yet here we are. And it says in there, you know, go after the harbor master. I watched a video. It's been emailed to me like a dozen times now. And that big old container ship, like 900 foot long, it was sideways in that river, the harbor, whatever you want to call it. And it made a sharp right turn. Big old container ships like that don't make a sharp right turn without help. Without something going on. And. Uh, you know. In my mind. Alright. Say I'm the captain of that container ship. I'm the one in control of where that container ship. I'm the one driving that container ship. Well container ships are really tall. And I mean really tall. You know the last one I saw. You know I. I was standing. And I had to look way up to even see the uh, top of it. Well, that's a lot of weight way up top. When you have a lot of weight way up top on anything, you don't make sharp turns. Because you could capsize the uh, ship. You could tip it over. Me, because I'm a big dude, I don't make sharp turns. Because I might fall over. Now stop lapping. Hey, you in the back, stop lapping. But it was just really suspicious that the power was blinking on and off on that container ship. And it made that sharp turn right into the bridge support that it took out. And all I know is that more information is going to come out about this. And uh, like I said, to start this video, please click that subscribe button. I'm giving away a microphone when I get to 2,000 subscribers. 
And as always, thanks for watching.